Good morning, Thursday morning, heading now to Tel Aviv to meet with my boy David Feldman from Deloitte. It's been a while, catch up with him, and then heading to meet Ovi Jacob, an old friend from one of the coolest companies in Israel, Vayar. Really, really crazy company with incredible tech. Following that, heading to Jerusalem to give a talk to a group of U.S. politicians visiting here, and APAC uh, asked me to come speak. So I'm there with Eitan Buckman from Fredos and a couple of other amazing entrepreneurs and marketers. So all in all, a jam-packed day. Great way to end the week. Let's do this. I haven't been here in a while. I'm at the Azraeli shopping center here in Tel Aviv, heading to Deloitte. First, I gotta get a new cord for my mic because I'm having some serious audio issues with this thing. And I'm extremely nervous about my talk tonight with APAC because I have no voice. So it's gonna be a little ridiculous giving a talk to a large group when I sound like this. sitting with this good looking guy in a pretty cool office. Check this place out. Catching up with an old friend. Who's this good looking guy over here? What's your name? David Feldman. I'm here in Deloitte. Let's just say that this place right here is like startup heaven. Basically they're working with the hottest companies in Israel and in all the fields you can imagine. This guy's working in FinTech and blockchain and all the hot buzzwords and just helping companies gain access globally to the world's largest players. It's kind of cool how Deloitte, this massive company, is so startup oriented here in Tel Aviv. Just wanted to share that thought. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do an interview later on, but I'm running to my next meeting later. Later. Super cool meeting, but you know, when you're dealing with a company the size of Deloitte, you can't really freely speak without comms giving approvals and all that jazz. So we'll do a formal interview another time. For now, we're playing my favorite game Find your car in the parking lot. No idea. Whoever designed these parking lots was on drugs. Booyah. Made it to the Tel Aviv port where I'm meeting Ovi Jacobs from Vayar. And I'm also going to be doing a, an interview piece where they're coming to record our meeting for a new Jewish publication. More on that later. But first of all, look how beautiful the skies are. Look at that, it's like a painting. You might remember this place, Tel Aviv Port, from DLD, the uh, innovation festival, two-day innovation festival that I come to every year. I think I did two years of vlogs from DLD. So this is where it is every year. And it's one of the coolest days of the year in Israel, at least in Israeli tech. But there's also some good uh, restaurants here where we're meeting right now. Okay, we're waiting for Ovi to arrive here in Regina. Last time I was here was during DLD. You know what DLD is? The Innovation Festival here, and I come here every year to this restaurant. Anyway, Ovi's uh, on his way, I hope. Even though he's not answering his phone, Ovi, you better be on your way. Who are you? I'm Bracha Bender. And what's your story? What are we doing here? Who are you? Talk to me. Give me some background. Well, um, I used to be a journalist okay. um, from journalism. I got into he's project just, management. Ovi just wrote me he's getting here. Okay, awesome. Uh, so, so you used to be a journalist. Where where, where were you a journalist? Like, um, I was a journalist mainly for the Haredi publications. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Just because I had been keeping a diary since I was seven, and I figured I could make money writing. And uh, that's what I did for a long time. And it turned into project management, because people would say, write content. And I'd say, for what? Who's your target market? And I taught myself WordPress. And nice. I basically started doing all sorts of behind the screen stuff and realized that um, I'd rather do this instead. I so you. I became a life coach. Nice. <laughs> Where are you from geographically? I grew up in Jerusalem, oh, but yeah. I moved here when I was nine. Cool. Kind of okay. like you, right? Moved here when you were 15. 15. How mm -hmm. do you know that? Because I've been stalking you for the past hour. Nice. Online. Okay, so um, you are you working with Mishpacha Magazine? Like, what's your connection? Um, I worked with Mishpacha Magazine for about five years, okay. trying to help them with their digital development. And today you're here to like record our meeting, or what? About it? So, um, so they asked me to do to kind of like a listen in on the conversation and then edit the material and, uh, and write it up. Yeah, pretty well. Beautiful. 
All right, well, Obi's gonna be here in a minute, so it was fantastic to meet you. I'm glad we got to do this before Obi came, and uh, I'm looking forward to the piece. Awesome. Thanks. A super funky restaurant. The man has arrived. Who are you? Obi. Obi, you've been on the vlog before, right? Yes. All right, let's see. We'll do something afterwards, but basically they're gonna be recording our whole conversation and uh, documenting this meeting. <laughs> All right, so let's go in, let's eat. are finishing up this uh, interview slash article. How is the how's the article gonna come out, you think? I think it's gonna come out pretty cool. These stories are amazing. Love, love it. it. You, tell me about tell me about Vyar. What's Vyar? Real quick. Vyar does imaging with radars in a way that can see inside of and through things. That's changing the world. You know, you could just like, your entire elevator pitch should be one word, or two words, sorry. X Superman vision. X-ray vision. Superman vision. Vyar.com, right? Vyar.com. V-A-Y-Y-A-R. Yes. .com, beautiful, yes. awesome. Now we're doing the profile shots for the magazine. These guys. My right side's my better side, I'm just saying, man. Should I turn around? Turn around this way. There you go. Enjoy watching. There we go. Beautiful. No camera? No camera. Camera's going bye-bye. That was fun and entertaining. Heading now to Jerusalem for a talk with a delegation of Christians from the U.S. It's an APAC dinner. I do these quite often. Big fan of APAC. Huge fan of Becky Strap. Not sure I'll be able to record, though. They often tell me to put away my camera, so I'll try to get what I can, but doubtful I can record the evening. Made it to Jerusalem, heading now to the APAC dinner, and I have a guest of honor. Say hi, Mom. Hey. My mom is joining for dinner at Kinor Bakikar, one of my favorite French cuisine, I think it's French. I think it's French. French cuisine in, in Jerusalem. Pretty awesome place in Music Square is uh, the name of the place. So we're heading there now, we're a little bit early, but uh, it's cool that they invited my mom to join us. And here's Harvey's, right there. You've been there. See Harvey's? Music Square. What's up, what's up? How you doing? I love the new look, man. I, I love like it. it. What is this place? Where are we? I like you. Oh, oh, you, 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 you can pull it off much better than me. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What is this place? Talk to me. Two brothers. Talk to me. Sorry. Oh yeah. What is this place? <laughs> Who's gonna pitch me on this place? Welcome to Andalusia, cocktail and tapas bar here in central Jerusalem, where we have lovely and beautiful looking and tasty kosher tapas and cocktails, especially for adults and the crowd older than 23. We like it when adults have... Uh... And, and to work here, you have to be extremely attractive. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you gotta look good. Let's go look at the place. Come show me around. Yeah. Cocktail bartender, I'm also a magician. So I'm a mixologist. Crazy magician. I do it privately and I'll do it uh, here sometimes. Love this place. Check it out. It's how do I describe to someone how to come here? Like what's what's the address or like whatever? Kikala Musica. Music Square in Jerusalem. Yeah, the nicest Check it on the square out. Ever. This is Kinor Bakikar, which means violin in the square, and it is the most amazing restaurant. Love it here. So I'm from New York originally, moved here 25 years ago, and kind of accidentally transitioned into tech. So I, uh, I really started writing my thoughts about technology without what they call a business model, with no strategy, which as far as I was concerned, a tech diary. Right? And this was before blogging was a thing. I ended up positioning myself accidentally, I might say, as the guy in Israel gets to see the tech before everyone else. And so I meet really an endless amount of entrepreneurs over the years. This is a country smaller than New Jersey, right? This is a tiny little speck on the map in the most unstable region on planet Earth. <laughs> and yet, in every single sector of technology across the board, Israel is a dominant player. Either we're number one in the world, or number two to Silicon Valley, you look at all the tech companies, every single one of them, Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, across the board, every multinational, not only do they have a strong presence in Israel, but they're building core elements of their technology here in Israel. You know, all the other things that I mentioned about Israel and all the money, that's all great. But Israel, as a technology superpower, isn't just building technology or innovation. Israel is literally 
making the world a better place across the board. And to me, that is the most exciting, and that is the, the biggest sign that as, a, as an ecosystem, it's a really mature ecosystem that's growing out of just being you know, a startup nation that builds cute startups and sells them to Google, something that's actually fundamentally changing our world. Thank you guys very much. Well, that was quite the incredible night. And on that note, see you next week.